and they say the prospect of disease could make things much worse. An experimental surgery has given a 21-year-old Canadian something many of us take for granted, the ability to see. Dale Turner was legally blind, but became one of only a handful of people around the world to undergo a procedure by surgeons at the University of Florida. Dale Turner joins me now in Toronto and in Montreal, Dr. Barry Byrne, one of the researchers that helped restore Dale's vision. Nice to see you here, Dale, and I know that this is such an incredible moment in your life. But first, before we get into all of that, tell us about how you lost your vision in the first place. Well, that's an interesting question, Andrew, because it's actually um, not exactly known by the doctors. I mean, there's, there's several hypotheses, and uh, one of them includes actually... Um, when um, I was I was very small, maybe a couple months, uh, it sort of it sort of digressed from that point on. So at a very young age, um, well well before you know my memory developed and, and things like that. So it was it's always been familiar to me. And you only had about ten percent of your your sight for for almost your entire life. Yes, right? yeah, that's that's correct. Yes. Yeah. And so Dr. Byrne, tell us a little bit about this procedure and what you were able to do for Dale. Well, greetings from Montreal. The uh, procedure that Dale underwent is part of a safety study to test the ability of a gene, uh, the normal gene for RP65, to be restored to the retina and improve uh, vision by functioning to help the visual cycle function properly. So uh, Dale underwent a surgery to place the new gene near the retinal cells that are missing the normal gene. and. Uh, we were quite surprised at, at the uh, how well he did with the procedure and how uh, he's been so uh, really had a fabulous result as, as he can describe. Well, uh, yeah, Dale and Love will get you to describe that. So, what happened when you opened your eyes after the recovery after this procedure? What was it like? Well, what it was did you a, see? yes, it, it was about three days after the surgery when it when it really hit me. I mean, I was um, I was skeptical a day or two after the surgery because, as as uh, Barry Burns said. It's um, it's a safety study, so you know it's I wasn't really going in with the mindset of, of this actually working, and so on day three was um, the actual first day I got to go outside, and um, so I took off my sunglasses and I peered into the sky, and it you know the sky was something I had never seen before. In in that I mean um, the color of the blue um, was was just overwhelming. I mean it was something that struck me, and it was uh, it was a very emotional moment. It was just um, the proof was right in front of my eyes, literally. So I couldn't, I, you know, that must have been a truly amazing experience for you. And in terms of now, how much are you able to see? How how different is your sight from before? Well, I mean, it's it, the gene therapy was in was in my right eye, and um, it was actually in a in a position where it was um, up and actually in the middle towards my nose. And so before the surgery, Andrew, I actually had, it, it appeared to be black there to me. I mean, I had, I had essentially very little vision. And so it, it just opened up my visual field, my degrees of visual field, it, it opened it up across. So I'm, so I'm able to see not only more visual field, but I'm also able to see colors, um, edges. And um, so it's, it's really been a wonderful, fabulous experience. And, and Dr. Byrne, this must be almost revolutionary in terms of what you were able to do for someone like Dale who had so little of his sight and now has so much of it. Well, really for the past 50 years, the concept of developing medicines that are designed specifically to treat a genetic disease has been a dream of many of the practitioners in this area. And the beauty of, uh, of treating eye diseases is, uh, as you said, we we all take sight somewhat for granted, but it's someone like Dale, who's very perceptive, is able to describe very exquisitely the changes he's seen, and that we're able to measure those very specifically. I think we have two very powerful tools, his own assessment of his quality of life after this procedure and the measurements of his level of vision following, following the procedure. Let's so we're, uh, it's really gratifying. Yes, yeah, so Dale, let's talk a little bit about that. How has your quality of life changed as a result? Well, I mean, Andrew, it, it's so many things, right? It's, it's, I mean, it's not tripping over things as much. It's uh, appreciating a clump of leaves on a tree that, you know, before the surgery looked look very blurry and very um, undistinguishable and now look very clear and vivid. And so um, in that respect, it's improved my quality of life. But also academically, I mean, I, I relied on software to help me read and um, so I could manipulate the color and the size of the fonts and so my eyes didn't get tired when I was reading. 
And so that software is um, it's, it's called Kurzweil, and it can actually read it to me as well. And so it, it means a better quality of life, less reliance on, on technologies like that as well, which is, which is definitely gratifying for myself. So how much can you see now in terms of you talk about edges, you talk about I know that you, you know that I'm in front of you, you can see me. Uh, you know, in terms of going forward and, and what you'll be able to, to do, what do you look forward to most? Well, I look forward to, you know, of, of course, uh, future treatments, I mean, that's the hope for myself um, and for others who have LCA and other similar diseases such as RP. But, um, I mean, it's, it's just the visual field has, has opened up and it's just seeing more when I look straight ahead, like at, at a building, for example, I don't have to, you know, move my head around and, and look as much. And um, actually one of, the, one of the key differences, I was practically, um, I was, I was practically blind at night and um, now my night vision has improved significantly and uh, as especially in that area of treatment and so that's a gift as well I mean uh, going on walks with my girlfriend uh, in the evening I'm, I'm able to see more the path you know where we're walking and, and who can who can put a price on that I mean it's just it's extraordinary uh, truly uh, uh, unbelievable and dr. Byrne what about you know uh, Dale was treated in Florida how soon before this kind of therapy will be available in Canada well, uh, what Dale has been lucky to participate in is a huge team effort that really is uh, involves physicians from all over the world. In fact, uh, the professional career of uh, Dr. Sam Jacobson, who has followed Dale since he was a young child, uh, and Dr. Bill Hausworth at the University of Florida, who, who really pioneered these therapies, and then the expertise of uh, Dr. Shalesh Kaushal, uh, who performed the surgery. Uh, we work with colleagues in the UK and other physicians at the University of Pennsylvania to try to move this therapy forward so that it could be licensed to be used in, in many countries. So it, it's a long process. It started over 10 years ago. Uh, this trial was first proposed in, in October of 2004 and uh, now to this point we're, we're through part of the patient cohort that will complete the study. Uh, we're pleased that it's been uh, thus far successful and need to see what happens as we go through the next six subjects in the study. And Dale, but I think... It, it is a long process. Yeah, but Dale, I think we also owe you some academic congratulations. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, uh, yesterday morning, actually, I, I called um, the Osgoode Hall Law School to see if they received my final transcripts. And actually, um, I, I was accepted, which has been a dream for me, so... So there, one more good thing that is happening in your life, Dale. Dr. Byrne, Dale, really good to speak to you both. Thank you very much. Good Thanks to for talk me. with you. We're glad to have Dale as an advocate now. And still to come, the latest on the weather with Teresa Physico. That's just ahead on your weekend edition of CBC News Today.